Alrighty, lots going on around the farm here lately. Uh, some of it I have not videoed, um, which is say case related. And uh, anyway, some of it I have. So a little bit of everything here in this one. Uh, getting the planter back together. We're getting all these adjusted. And then we're going, to, we got these uh, new arms in the back, all brand new bushings and everything. So getting that tightened up and making progress. Here's the other planter. So there you go with that and you may wonder what i was doing in missouri if you stick through the whole video here and you may notice some changes to the lineup later in the video but uh if you're a regular subscriber you'll maybe be clued in and if you're new thanks for subscribing i know the subscriber count continues to increase so stay tuned for more and uh, enjoy the rest of the video Now we're getting these cut. That's our, uh, doesn't look like too much, but uh, that'll be spaced on uh, 16 inch centers for the uh, bales to sit on. Cutting a couple more there and a few more there. Coming together. Our loader frame here. A few more pieces of cut and we'll start welding this puppy up. Looking pretty good. Well, for those of you who follow me regularly, you'll know that we've been building the uh, hay trailer. For any new subscribers that are just now tuning in, what we're doing is uh, building a deck for a hay trailer here, which is now assembled. And this is actually flipped upside down so we could uh, get it welded. And you saw me in the earlier part or earlier clip of this uh, video, I said we had all of our tubes cut. And we had this laid out, and we decided at the last second to actually make it a little smaller. We were going to do a 32-foot deck trailer, and at the last minute, I opted to go down to a 24-foot deck trailer. Um, this will still haul, uh, with ease, about 15 bales. It is 8 feet wide. Uh, the bales we're going to be hauling are 3 by 4s 3 feet tall and 4 feet wide. So 8 feet wide, you'll have a um, perfect 8 foot width. And on average, most bales are made about 8 feet long. So that'll equate out to uh, 3 down each side. So that's 6. You stack them double high, that's 12. And if you put uh, 3 more down the center, there's your 15. And if you figure... 1500 pounds uh, a piece then you still got uh, around 20,000 pounds or over of hay depending on what your hay actually weight is you know or type of hay so it's still a pretty good payload and considering that we were going uh, six bales last year on a round bale trailer uh, this is a significant step up the reason we did not go to the full 32 feet we debated it quite a bit was we need to extend our uh, wheelbase on our hay trailer out to about 22 feet, whereas right now it'll be about 13 feet. And I'll take you over in a minute here and show you the undercarriage. And we did not want to modify it because we felt that it was going to get too intensive. The main reason we didn't want to go the extra length was at that length we do a lot of small area hay and by that i mean waterways and things where even at 24 feet long it's a bit of a chore just to get the actual trailer turned around um, and again we'll go out and look at the undercarriage and i'll explain more so anyway this is upside down but and the reason it's upside down is because you finish doing these welds you know like there i'll tip my finger and we'll flip it back over and we'll start our big I-beams, which are going to be 4x12s. So it's going to be plenty strong. The crosses are 2x3. That there on the edge is a 2x4. So you'll have a little 1-inch lip raised up to kind of keep the bales in. 
and on the back end it's a three by four just a little bit bigger piece of uh, steel uh, on the back of the trailer for a little support i suppose if you're ever stuck or something like that it could uh, almost be utilized to uh you know help uh, push against the uh, front loader frame uh, there it is and it's a uh, two by four and four by four pieces and we're waiting on the bit but the uh, little pilot holes are drilled we gotta get the mounts made which if you see that chalk line there and there that's where the mounts go and we'll get this wrapped up so that'll hold two three by four bales and like i say this trailer will hold 15. so it is coming together well uh, looking good i think it's going to work out quite nicely well if you're a regular viewer i've already shown you this undercarriage but again if you're a new subscriber uh this is what i was just uh, talking about here was this undercarriage and how we're going to go about mounting it Originally, this was a, a Brent 600 model wagon, and these 600s were the earlier versions. You can tell they were a big 8-bolt hub, and, and uh, when the 40 series came out, they had a lot of updates. Um, the 600 wagons were kind of a weird centerpiece. This uh, thing here is uh, hollow underneath. It's actually a, it's a twist arm, and... We've decided that we can actually move the rear uh, one space up then we can go ahead and uh, utilize the uh, pretty much standard length undercarriage here this undercarriage again holds a 600 bushel box so at 25,000 pounds of hay or so you know if we decide to go tri layer deep uh, it'll handle it quite easily so the wheelbase won't extend a whole lot for what we're wanting to do and that'll work out well because we pulled wagons in and out of you know our smaller fields in our area and they always fit uh, well to our, our landscape so this will, this will work out good uh, anyway stay tuned we are going to do a few mods to this and i will show more of it coming up soon oh look at those mean green machines 4630 is looking good. Oh yes, a dig secure loader. And it looks like brand new. Stay tuned for that. Probably won't be here until mid-April. A little later. 4850 is ready to go. Got some more weights for it right over there. And this one. And that one. Anyway, this one here, it's going to have to go to a new home. I uh, went and looked at an 8360R yesterday. Uh, a little bit of paint work. It would look every bit as good as the 7200R does. Or this brand new sexy looking 8400R. So I am going to do my best to see what I can turn up for a trade. So we're kind of developing a theme because that's my goal is I want an 8360. So you got the biggest of the current. You'll have the biggest of the last current. Biggest of the 50s. Biggest of the 30s. And don't say a 6030 was, because technically they were 30, but it wasn't quite the same series. And uh, not the biggest, but uh, 3020, so there might be room here for something else. That would be the series below it, if you notice the pattern theme of 50, 30, you know. You guys, you guys can clunk, 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 clunk your, your way into comments there. Anyway, stay tuned for more, and if you're a regular subscriber, uh, stay tuned for the remainder of the video. If you don't like uh, uh, other things that uh, are non-farm related, sometimes it's uh, best to watch the first half and uh, tune out. So, all right. More debris. These campers, I think they were all underwater. Yeah, that one there, he taped everything up. I wonder if he... I wonder if he thought he had like you know, waterproof it somehow. Weird. Yeah, you can see everything's just so saturated. They're uh they're getting back into these businesses though. They're trying to. It's amazing how it has receded. A lot of 
Mouse. Hey, those are underwater. You know, the water's receding. You can see all the debris in the, uh, in the ditch. Oh, wow, look at that field. Look all the debris out in there. Tires and crap all over out there. What a mess. You can see it out there. It is receding. You know, there's water over there, but it's receding. Hey, look, Missouri puts their cable down the center of the ditch. And it's not broken. Well, you definitely don't go hungry at the IHOP. My god, these are big proportions. Hey, look, no lobster. Finally, moving up.